When you see video of illegal immigrants coming into this country, what do you immediately assume they're carrying? What's in the bags? I don't know what's in those bags, but there's a good, strong possibility that it's clothes. It could be clothes, could be marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine, or it could be bits and pieces of a bomb. We were invaded in 2001. You want that again? Whether you think I'm naive or he's paranoid, this is a story that will astound you regardless. Somebody's got to catch these people. It's about how concerned citizens like Robert Fahrenkamp, a truck driver from South Texas, are taking on illegal immigrants and drug smugglers from the comfort of their own computers. All I can do is report what I see. On the internet, you can now monitor 15 live cameras hidden on utility poles and pointed at various sections of the Texas-Mexico border. If you see something... Right here, see the two people walking? You write something. This is what I'm going to do. Your report goes to a sheriff's deputy, who in turn dispatches the appropriate authorities. Every now and then I pull one of those all-nighters because the bad guy's going to wait till late at night to do anything. And if you went to sleep... They could easily get in the country. That's just a lot of pressure to put on yourself. No, it's dedication. Yes, we call those folks virtual deputies. Donald Ray oversees the project. This is a virtual wall. He runs the Texas Border Sheriff's Coalition, which got a $2 million grant to put up the cameras and run the website for a year. It's been a couple months, and already 35,000 people have registered as virtual deputies. This is just some of what they've seen. And yet, so far, the program has only produced eight arrests and four drug seizures. Not much bang for the buck. But I am so convinced that this is money well spent. The potential is unlimited. Robert sure isn't ready to give up. We're he dispatches deputies backpack, almost daily, drugs, although it's hard to say exactly it, how much safer he's really making off. us. What I saw that day was a lot of buzzers circling and going right down to the ground right here. Okay. So that's telling me that there's something dead there. Could be a rabbit. It, it could be an animal of any sort. It could be a person. Paranoid? Maybe. Patriotic? Unabashedly. After the grant expires, the coalition hopes to keep the site up by selling ads. And since it is a virtual stakeout, the first sponsor they're hoping to get is Dunkin' Donuts. Meanwhile, do these people get paid anything if no. they do see something and notify no, authorities? No, they're thinking of maybe sending out like a little certificate, but as of right now, uh, you don't even get a thank you. Maybe a free donut at some point, at some point in the future. Yeah.